Well, hello everybody. This is a brand new edition of Triple Chips Unbox the Box. Today we're going to be unboxing a Master Vac 30 liter or 8 US gallons wet and dry vacuum. It's got a horsepower, 4 horsepower peak, 1 and 1 inch quarter hose diameter. Ideal for general wet and dry cleanups. And if you want to, you can hook it on the other side and it becomes a blower. It comes with a one and one inch quarter diameter locking hose, which is seven feet long or 2.1 meters. Extension wands, two of those. Hose attachments, you get three different ones and two filters. And it's got a three year warranty on it. This I believe, I think I might've got it for $69.99. But they, on the Canadian Tire site, they go for $129.99 plus GST. So let's get to unboxing this. Got the key one. Oh, he's away from you. Safety first. Ninja style. Just gonna cut this open here. Just take this off. It's There's not much to show you in the box. Just show you this some specifications. Uh, I probably wonder how much water it holds. It's 30 liters worth of water or eight or eight US gallons capacity to the tank. And that side just shows the actual back and not really much else to show you the same. Pretty well on three sides so this is out of here. On the top, it's just showing you some type of different filters and stuff that go with it, it looks like. I don't know if they actually come with it, they might be accessories. Inside we get... get the one foam filter, oh. and a couple bags of screws, so it must be for something. Some type of filter. Get your instruction manual in French. Flip it over to English. It just shows you a few things on how to hook it up. How to change your filters and stuff. So there's that. And then the French side. Get a fairly long hose with it. I'm like 5'9", so this foot is, this hose is like, I think, 7 something, so you got a fair reach with it. And the other nozzles are just going to attach onto that. Those are extensions you get. You can put those together. And those are simply just attach onto this hose, so. You comfortably vacuum the floor if you got wet or dry materials. top here that just goes in and then it just locks you see right there just turn it to your right and it locks into place and you simply just pull on the side here there's two little latches actually just pushing on these black tabs your top will lift right off it's got a filter on it the other filter I was showing you for I believe that's for the dry materials or it could be wrong, this could be the opposite way around. We'll have to read the instructions. The cord has a nice Velcro attachment on, so you can. You're not using it. You just simply fold it back up. You got a nice little Velcro tab, which will just spin around and hold your cord back in place again. 
inside here you have looks like one of your three brushes get the one floor cleaner that just attaches onto the end of one of your extensions pivots 360 degrees We have the legs for the units. So we're going to have four of those. One, two, three, and four. And we'll just put those on in a minute here. Let's see what's on here. Two more nozzles. Just simply go on the same way. One for precision. One for if you're trying to get stuff out of a carpet or something, you can kind of agitate it a little bit. And last thing here, the screws must be for your handle, which is just simply going to attach right on top, like so. We'll just reinstall that in a minute here. Let's get this other chunk out of here. We've got to get Whoa! Right, we'll grab that. Nothing else in the box. Simply start putting this stuff together. Let's get some of these accessories out of the way. Get that hose off for now. Simply, we're just gonna turn that over. Oh, got some garbage in there. And the handle. We don't need that stuff anymore. These legs just simply slide on and there's going to be a screw that goes to hold them on. Those screws I dropped earlier, those are going to be what holds this on, but these just simply slide into place like so. And for each of the corners. Pretty simple. Yeah, I'll be right back. One fell down the staircase here. And then back. Okay, here's the last wheel. Very durable. It didn't even damage it. Uh, it went down about 15, 20 feet and had a dent in it. Okay, so. Got some screws here. It looks like they're all. Oh, lucky day. Ninja time again. Knife out. Don't want to cut yourself. Get the inserted in. There we go. What we're dealing with is Phillips. So it's the one with the X. The other ones are blade away. These are going to be Phillips also. Yeah, just need a Phillips head screwdriver, which I have right here. Yeah, we'll go for the smaller one. All these screws are the same size, so we have a total of six screws two for the handle, four for the wheels. So we're just simply going to go right in these holes right here. We're just going to start with the first one or just work our way around until we get all four of them. That's one done. process three more times. See, until it's snug is fine, don't over tighten it. You might strip them out, so that's two done. Okay, three 
down. One to go. on roll all over the place and what this is down here doesn't come with the hose with this but just simply I'm pretty sure this might attach I'm not sure let's see. no so the hose that you hook up here does not work on your exit that's just to drain all your fluid out so if you're draining water and you're sucking it into this thing don't take this lid off until you have some place you want to drain it into otherwise you're gonna have a really big mess doesn't come with an out, out hose just make sure that is that on the right there we go. you think that would be the vacuum part but they didn't leave no other nozzle with it Strange. I'll put the on the top. No, we'll have to read the middle. Oh, that's where if you want to use the, do the blower, you hook, hook your hose onto here. Make sure you have nothing in your machine. And you can hook this on. Works as a blower if you're out in your driveway or the sidewalk or something. You can use it as a blower. Just do not have nothing to side this because that stuff's going to be shooting everywhere. Run it with it empty. You want to utilize it as a board. Put our handle on here. Simply just going to line up like that. And your screws are just going to drop into these two holes. Here. Get that down a little bit. Whoa, lost the what the heck? There we go. Bit come off. And there we go. Handles on now. So simply back of the machine. Make sure you line up these with your Okay, now we got it put together. I was just reading through the manual. When you do any wet cleanups, we're going to take off because I need to clean up some water, spill some water downstairs, so I need to clean that up. We're just simply going to take this filter off. This is for dry only. So you just simply... Okay, it's got an unlock. You turn this way. Lock is this way. So I'm just going to turn it this way. There we go. And this should pull off. I'm going to tight. Just keep working your way around so you don't rip it. Yeah, it's on the right side. Take this filter off. This one just goes on like just like you're putting on a sock. You leave this piece off, I take it then. If you don't want to put a holster, so just leave that off. You can stretch this over top of that. This here. Oh, it's like a really it's like a sock that's two sizes too small. Make sure it doesn't fall off. I, guess. Whoop. I already ripped the piece off of it. You to buy a new filter, I guess, but it should still work. Let's get it down as far as it can, I guess. Probably just so you don't get any mud or anything through it, and then you just take it off and then you just wash it in the sink or something. Good enough. But this little piece shouldn't really affect it at all. Just for the garbage.
you how noisy it is. Put some power to it here. I'll plug something here. Okay, we got a plug in here. book right on there is so powerful it just holds my hand on tight but I want to show you the mess I got to clean up it's a little bit messy the washer kind of overflowed so but you can pick up one of these master vacs at your local Canadian Tire order one on CanadianTire.ca till next time have a great day log over chip out